Shalom. First and foremost, though, I take of all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Haracha Kodash. The bonus of the apostles and others, agree great millstone who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings spent to you. Hopefully, like that, the Christian, not this order, thought, truth, and sincerity. All right, Shalom. This is going to be a quick video about. You know, Jake's staying in the lane, in the lane. And, and that's because, you know, what Jake want to do is they always want to be with the men of the Lord. You know, and then and then they get bored over a certain topic that they want to pull out the scriptures. Yet they, yet they, yet they the, 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 the same ones being wicked as hell, you know. And here it is, man. All right, they're, 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 they're transgressing against the laws. Yet when you, you know, yet when, when one of the brothers... And they're going off, you know, but, you know, we're in this flesh, you know, we're about to go off. Hey, you know, they get butthurt and they try and judge us. They try and judge us for it, you know, which is, you know, completely bugged out. And you're going to get destroyed for that, you know. And that's the mindset of all, a lot of these people, a lot of these so-called religious people, these so-called Christians and whatnot. You know, they, they always want to be like they're the high and mighty one, you know, which, which that probably will get you destroyed. All right, so this is the book of Luke, the fifth chapter, verse 29. And Levi made him a great feast, you know, when Yahweh Shai left earlier. So uh, in his own house, and there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with him. But the, but the scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with publicans and sinners? So these are the scribes and the Pharisees, which they are so-called righteous men at the time. Hey, because they... You know they were learned. You know they 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 um they understood the laws, but did they do them? Hell no. Or you know they were bugged out. They were they they they're so they're the so called righteous. All right, that's why it says uh, um, what Yahweh Shai is about to say, you know, cut them off. You know, and Yahweh Shai answering said unto them, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. And and, and you know these people understood. You know and these uh so called righteous men. These Sadducees, the, the high priests, the scribes, the, the Pharisees, they understood the law. You know, they were learned. But did they do them? No. I came out to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. All right, which those sinners are, are literally, you know, the, the elect. You know? Right, because we're the ones that, that, that repent and humble ourselves down. We're not going to be prideful. All right, even I wish I spoke a parable about the, about the um, so-called righteous man. That pray to God talking about how he's thankful that he fasts twice a day. And yet there's the, the, the publican right there, you know, repenting unto the Lord, telling him sorry. And he's not even worthy to look at the sky, you know. And, and, and you know, the mindset of these people is, is, is you know, being so-called righteous. <clears throat> All right, that's why, uh, you know, in my case, a while back, right, you, you had some Jake... You know, start bugging up on me, hey, because, you know, uh, I went up in the flesh. Hey, yeah, um, you know, my bad, you know, we're trying to better ourselves. But yet, he, here it is, man, he's a pork eating, pork eating, you know, buffoon. And, and, and he tries to pull out the scriptures like he knows it all, you know, you know, like he's a righteous man. And that's the that's the mindset of these people. And, and you know, it, it, it pisses us off. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's just Jake being Jake. Probably the third chapter, verse five. Trust not in the trust in Salaki. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own, own understanding. You know, and, and these are the same people that say the laws are done away with. But when it comes to us, when we go off, hey, you know, they all of a sudden they they want to pull out. They want to pull out. Uh, oh yeah, well this and they want to pull out a lot. They want to be like, oh this and then you know they want to bring out. They want to bring out a scripture yet the, yet, you know, hypocritically they're saying. That the laws are done away with. You know, it's, it's the only way to benefit them, you know. It's for their gain. And that's why they're going to get destroyed, man. All right, people, you you, you people are going to die a very terrible death. A, a very, you know, uh, extreme high temperature death. All right, you know, your, um, your thermostat will be off the charts very soon. All right, and you won't be controlling it very soon. You won't be controlling your thermostat soon. All right, it will be the Lord. 
All right, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, which is people, you know, they, they do that. All right, and a precept to that is uh, the book of Ecclesiastic is the third chapter, verse 24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion hath overthrown the judgment. And these people can't properly judge. All right, yeah, yeah, the Israelite nation are supposed to be judges, you know, and rulers of the earth. But these two thirds men being highly infatuated and so. You know, perpetually, uh, um, what's that one word? You know, affected and influenced by, by, uh, by the heathen nations. All right, they're, they're bound to, to, you know, rather serve them instead of, of rule over them. All right, that's why they got to be put out, you know, out of the misery. And, and so they could come back in a right, in a right mind by way of the, the elect. So this is the book of Jeremiah, the fourth chapter, verse 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. All right, and that's straight to the T. You guys are wise to do evil. Or right, you guys want to keep on, you know, committing adultery. All right, some of you be smoking. You know, you y'all be eating like pork. All right, um, and some things I got to work on myself as well. But you know, Jake out here, they they wall it now. They do this willfully, and and and, and rejoice in it. Yet they want to pull out a scripture and be like, "All right, why don't you do this and that?" You know, they they try and correct you, even though they can't take the rebuke. You know, and like they buck up, and that's what's gonna get them destroyed. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Hey, you guys don't have no no knowledge. You know how how people say. You know, to, to do good, uh, um, it, it's hard, but to do bad, it's so easy. And certain things along those lines, hey, that, that's the exact same path these people follow. Wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter, verse 3, for forward thoughts. Forward meaning uh, disobedient. Hey, you guys are disobedient, man. Separate, you know, so like for forward thoughts, separate from your hell. And this power, when it is tried to reprove it, the unwise. And a lot of you guys cut yourselves. You know, they, a lot of you guys cut yourselves up. Or you pull out a scripture and, and who ends up getting cut by the scripture? You, you, you do. All right. Uh, the book of Hebrews. The fourth chapter. Verse 12. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. All right. That's what we consider the Bible. You know, a sword. All right, it's something Jake out here trying to get all offensive and 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 violent. You know, in a carnal state of mind, and, and they bring out an actual sword. You know, if they have it, or just a a a, a gun, all right? Which is a you know, which is a gun. You know, it's like it, which is a sword. All right, because the scriptures deal with ancient terminology, so the modern day sword is a gun. But you know, they they try and pull that out. Hey, hey, we be pulling out the scriptures. You know, here's our ammunition. And our um, and our uh, metaphorical projectile. So, uh, for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrows, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You know, the, the, there's a scripture for everything, and because of that, hey, people get bored over it. All right, that, that's why you, that's why for you brothers out there. You you can't be emotional on this thing. You just got to take it up and suck it up, you know, just like a champ. All right, except the rebuke. Hey, because open rebuke is better than secret love. You know, that's true love right there as well. So, uh, going back, you know, verse 4. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject to, unto sin. And as Paul stated, you know, um, I forget which epistle was talking about how, you know, uh, you yourselves servants unto righteousness. You know, early paraphrasing right there. Hey, you guys gotta, you guys gotta, um, you know, you got this truth. You were given this, you were given this mercy, which is this truth. Are you been given grace? All right, you you know the Father. All right, uh, so you guys gotta serve Him. You know, Jake out here, they, 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 they serve sin because they don't have this truth. And a lot of these people, they, 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 they came across the truth, 
But ultimately, they're gonna get they're gonna get slain because they they're in belief, you know. And that's why scriptures say, "For many shall die in their in their um unbelief." Really, perfect from out there, and that was in uh, Second Ezra, I believe it was. So you know, Jake out here, they're trying to pull out scriptures and whatnot, you know, trying to trying to uh, um cut you up, man of the Lord, cut cut a man of the Lord up. Yeah, yet yeah, yeah, they the ones going off, you know. That's hypocritical right there. You know, they're, they're that body that is a bit under sin. They they got no wisdom. They got no knowledge. They got no understanding. You know, they, the only understanding that they do got is, is how to go off. Verse 5, for the Holy Spirit. Or you guys don't got the Spirit. All right, that's what we constantly say. No pastor should be holding a Bible in their hand. All right, likewise for 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 some stupid Jake. You know, Jake while they're now. You know, and Jake is the most not not the most proper man, but Jake is the most ridiculous, childish, stiff necked man out of all nations. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from those that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. Alright, and that's straight to the T. The Lord ain't gonna give you no the Lord ain't gonna give you a spirit. You know, uh, the only spirit you you guys are gonna get is a is a left hand. You know, spirit, making you guys go buggy now even worse. And that's why a lot of these people that fall out, they, they, they get plagued with worse with demons than they had before they came into this truth. So this is the book of Romans, the first chapter, verse 18. For the wrath of Yahweh was revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who hold the truth and unrighteousness. All right, and that's for, you know, people out here that, you know, the, the Lord's making some house cleaning. He, the Lord's cleaning the house right now. You know we're in a house cleaning period. Period. I'm not in GMS. I follow it, but there's a there's a, you know house there's a house cleansing, right now in in GMS. And those people are bugging now, that are hiding in that camp. You know infiltrating it. They they they're get they're being taken out. You know because they hold the truth and unrighteousness. All right, because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifest in them, for Yahweh showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You guys are without excuse, man. All right, because that when they knew Yahweh, they glorified him not as Yahweh, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. All right, but well, became vain in their imaginations. All right, you, 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 got, you guys imagine a vain thing. So going down on verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain, you know, keep and maintain Yahweh in the knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate, reprobate mind, unprincipled, um, and you guys are unprincipled, you know, to the bone. To do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, co covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh. You guys are really haters of Yahweh. You, you, you guys hate us, you know, so much. But as Yahweh Shai said, I believe it was uh, Luke ten sixteen, if I'm correct or not. You know, talking about how um, if they hate you, they hate they hate me, and if they hate me, they hate him that sent him that that sent me. So like, yeah. so they really hate the father. The spiteful, proud, boasters, inventors, and you guys are really proud. You know, inventors of evil things, disobedient so parents. And without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. You guys are worthy of death. Or not only do the same, but have pleasure in them and do them. And you guys really, you guys really have pleasure in that. All right, you know, Jake out here, they, they, they have pleasure in going off. And they acknowledge that. You know, they, they rejoice. And it's some kind of wicked... We get a, a feeling that they got to it, that they re, that they enjoy it. All right, listen to these. You watch these various movies and listen to, listen to these various songs. And, and, and example, an example would be uh that movie, The Maze Runner. 
the Maze Runner, or the book, you know, the book or the Maze Runner 2. The score shrouds. And you have uh, the company, you know, trying to solve trying to solve the problem and find a cure by way of torturing, you know, uh, immune immune survivors. And they, they say wicked is good. And that's the exact mindset you guys, you, you, you bug guys got. Wicked is good. You know, you, you guys have to go off and have pleasure in, in, in going off. And therefore, thou art inexcusable, O oh man, whosoever thou art that judges for wearing, thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judgest doest the same things. And the piece that comes to the mind is Matthew the 7th chapter, I believe it was verse 3, all the way on the, down to 5, if I'm, if I'm correct. But we are sure that the judgment of Yahweh is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou, so like and thinkest thou, this old man, that you just them which do such things and do us the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of Yahweh? You guys really think you guys could escape it all? Amen. But you can't. You, you guys have been marked. All right. Or despite the other riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of Yahweh leadeth thee to the repentance. And you guys. A lot of you guys are butthurt, you know, or the fact that you weren't given this truth first, but you have some some man of low countenance teach it to you. And that's why you guys stay in that bugged out mindset. And the Lord, you know, the Lord's thoughts are are, are more higher than us, you know. Are not thought his thoughts are not our thoughts. So obviously it could be a certain circumstance in that in that case where he doesn't want some bug out to wake up, you know. So he establishes a a, a, a brother of low countenance. To rebuke his ass, and then he gets butt over it, and then starts bucking up. But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, impenitent meaning, unrepentant, you guys are unrepentant. All right, you guys are truly unrepentant if you guys go off and, and try and teach. All right, there's there's a scripture already for that, you know. All right, he that uh, I forget what's called. I'll bring it out. Hopefully, but um. And impenitent heart, treasure, and heart going back to the word mind, you know, lab, which in the Hebrew is lab. So, uh, treasures unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and, re and revelation of the righteous judgment of Yahweh. We read that again, but after thy hardness, and you guys are really hardened, you know, you guys got hardened hearts, just like Pharaoh. All right? You guys are stiff necked to the bone, you guys are stubborn, and impenitent heart, and treasures of thy. Thyself up unto thy soul, Salaki. But the thy hardness and impatient heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of Yahweh. You know, you guys are really storing up. Hey, you know, we be storing up treasures in heaven. You guys be storing up a, a, a very painful death. You know, in that, in, that, in that day of the Lord. You know, when he comes back by way of fire. Or when those missiles start hitting Babylon, and these chariots start, you know, uh, lasering this place of hell, which will take about one hour to, you know, destroy this place, America for good. And you know, you guys are really getting, the cook you guys are really cooking up your your um your own stew. Verse six: Who will render to every man according to his deeds? All right, there, there's plenty of scriptures, pl plenty of scriptures pursuing to that. Yeah, a a a, a good man. Gets a reward, but a wicked man as well. All right. Only thing is that in this case, a reward is either an actual reward, a blessing, or a consequence. Proverbs six and sixteen. Now this is really going for the so-called white man. You know this damn devil, Esau. But applying, you know, one of these six things. Uh, um. You know, I'm applying it to Jake out here because of the mindset that they got. These six things that the Lord hate. Yea, seven are abomination unto him. A proud look. A lying tongue and hands that shed innocent, that shed innocent blood. And heart, the device of wicked imaginations. All right. You guys, you already Jake out here. All right, because that word, that word heart, it's talking about the mind. All right, where the thoughts kick in. Right, where your spirit resides and the thoughts kicking and you do whatever you think about. All right, that, that's where temptation comes into place. That's where the demons plague you. But you guys, you know, you guys advise wicked imaginations. All right, oh, I'm going to go pop my neighbor's wife. 
yeah, yeah, uh, when, when, you know, yeah, yeah, you try and, when you, when you see a brother, you, you try and rebuke him, you know, you know, in a bugged out state, and, and you, and you pull out the Bible, all right, you go to, you go to your shelf, all dusty, you know, you get out, you pull out the Bible, and then you get the, the, the um, the, the, the thing to wipe off the dust, you, 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 you clean the dust off, you know, start patting it down, you open the book, and then start blowing on it, <sighs> Hopefully all the dust that's inside the pages go away. And then you you get ready and you try and, and, and rebuke them, right? You know, you lick your finger and then you start pulling the page. Man, you guys are bugged out. All right. The book of Jeremiah, the 25th chapter, verse 4. And the Lord has sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. But ye have not hearkened or inclined your ear to hear. All right, you, you guys are bugged out, you know, but but the true prophets of the Lord, you know, hey, the servants of prophets, hey, they be rising up early and and, and, and he he be saying them, all right, to rebuke you, but you guys, but you guys are like, no, 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 I'm gonna rebuke you, man, you guys get out of here, get out of here, no one wants you, all right, because he, no, the Lord doesn't even want you at all, you guys are worthless in him, no one inclined your ear to hear. They said, turn ye not again now, everyone, from his evil way. Or I am from the evil of your doings. Like in this case, right in this video. And dwell in that land that the Lord hath given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. But because of you, you know. Hey, because you guys are the same spirit. Going back then, you guys or your forefathers. Because of you, the two-thirds, we, we, we came out of our land. All right, we left. We, we, we um... All right, Northern Kingdom got exiled, and Southern Kingdom got got um taken over here by ships. All right, we got taken away from our land, all because of your your iniquities, man. And those gonna destroy you for that. Anyways, hope this video was edifying. Lord, will we continue to push first and foremost? I hope this video was edifying. If I hadn't said that already, it's like you. Yeah. I take all praises, honor, and glory unto that Holy Father and His Only Begotten Son, Yahweh. Baha Shami Awashai, Baha Sham Harachak Wadash. The bonus of the apostles and others that great Muslim who rule well and taught us this hundred percent truth. Much peace and blessings be to you, hopefully like that they push not this or thought you that sincerity. Shalom.